I have a big problem with Chromebooks. Too dainty. If I'm gonna use a Chromebook, it needs to be a gigantic, powerful behemoth. So today we're installing Thorium OS on this MSI GTVR Titan to make the world's worst 13 pound Chromebook. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy using cool technology, wrong, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. The MSI GT83 VR was perhaps the most insane laptop released in 2017. This 13 pound behemoth sports an 18 inch HD display, full mechanical keyboard that actually feels amazing, a super weird touchpad that doubles as a numpad, it has a 7th gen Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM with space for 32, and hilariously, two NVIDIA GeForce 1070s SLI'd together, requiring a ridiculous arrangement of two power supplies spliced together just to power this thing. But this got me thinking. Chrome OS Flex claims to breathe new life into your old, underpowered computers, but what about your old, overpowered ones? Unfortunately, this ridiculous dual video card setup here is NVIDIA. And Chrome OS Flex, known issues state that NVIDIA graphics are generally unstable. And sure enough, trying to boot the Flex installer on this thing results in a boot loop. And this sent me far down the rabbit hole. And at the bottom of the hole was Thorium OS. An extremely interesting project, because you may have heard of the Thorium web browser. It's a fork of Chromium designed to be as fast as possible. Thorium OS takes things one step further. It's a fork of Chromium OS based on the Thorium browser. But most importantly for us, it supports NVIDIA. All of our ridiculous dreams are possible. So let's do this thing. Let's make ourselves a 13 pound Chromebook. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, Plaud. The Plaud Note is the world's number one AI voice note taking device. It's an impossibly thin 0.29 centimeters and lightweight aluminum. And with one press capturing, it transcribes with industry leading accuracy. And almost magically, summarizes using Plaud AI, developed on GPT-4.0, O3 Mini, and Claude 3.7, extracting key points and action items and identifying and labeling speakers automatically. This thing supports 112 languages. A big problem I have is organizing my video ideas. I've tried Google Docs, Apple Notes, Trello, Post-it Notes. It's always become a disorganized mess that I abandon. But the Plaud Note has legitimately changed how I work. I love that I can just press the button, ramble a long winding brain dump of a video idea into it, and Plaud here will neatly summarize and organize the whole thing. It even breaks out the to-dos that I mentioned into a list so I can remember to buy parts or download software. Using a dedicated device is way better than using my phone, voice notes, and getting interrupted by a call. Ask AI even lets you directly ask questions to Plaud. Instantly search across recordings and connect app integrations, making this thing a bit of a do-anything device. So check out Plaud.ai or click the link down in my description below. And thank you Plaud for sponsoring today's video. So we're just going to get this directly from the GitHub page for Thorium OS, most recent release, August 28th. All right, we'll extract this and we will use Belena Etcher, of course, to flash this to a USB stick and create a nice bootable drive. So jump cut, let's install this thing. Pop that into a USB port, turn this thing on and spam delete key until we get into BIOS, because we need to disable Secure Boot. Secure Boot disabled. F10, now spam F11 for a boot menu. UEFI SanDisk Partition 12, that'll do it. Now look, there's GNU Grub. All right, we are straight into a setup process that looks just like the Chrome OS Flex 1. Let's see, does brightness work? Yeah, brightness keys work, look at that. Awesome, how about sound? It sure does. So choose your Thorium devices setup for a child. It's like personal use. Use my Google account. Uh, no, browse as guest. Well, that's not promising. 
Oh, look at that, it's automatically in a dark mode. We are in the desktop, yeah, because this is a live environment. Yeah, Wi-Fi works, let's see here, the old Google. Yeah, we're online. All right, well, we're gonna just straight up replace Windows 10 <laughs> with Thorium OS because everything important seems to be working. And as you all know, my Google account is under XX totally x emo xx at gmail.com a strong and secure password all right install thorium os backup of my data i don't think so yep erase the entire hard drive you better installation can take 20 minutes i guess we'll just leave it here and hopefully jump cut to when it decides to do something Hilariously, it booted right back up into Windows. But I think I know what's going on here. Let's do a quick restart. Spam F11 for a boot menu. Aha! This computer actually has two hard drives. The first one is actually a super fast but small SSD, and that's where Windows is installed. And then there's a secondary drive where all of your stuff can live, and that's where Chromium OS has installed itself. So I think we accidentally made a dual boot machine. <laughs> yes, welcome to your Thorium device. It actually took way longer to get to this step than I thought. All right, we are connected to my Wi-Fi. Enter my Google account and password, xx. Totally x emo x x at gmail.com. Strong and secure password, of course. Oh yeah, here we are into our 13 pound Chromebook. Oh, I love using computers wrong. Thorium OS aims to produce a Chromium OS image similar to Cloud Ready. Now Chrome OS Flex with extra stuff. And our web browser does indeed open Thorium. Thorium version 126.0.6470.251. All right, let's see what's on here. I have to go into the terminal, of course. Kind of a killer feature here. Set up the Linux environment. <laughs> My username, XX, totally X, emo, XX. Yep, that's it. All right, installing Linux. Uh, well, that didn't work. Let's see, does our camera work? Oh, it does. It's a bit laggy, but it works. Unable to take photo. All right, well, I spoke too soon. I'm gonna go for a wallpaper that's nice and googly. What is in the web store? That's the Google Chrome web store, all right. Uh, this is all boring. Now, I want to play games. What else would we have a gaming computer for? And since this is a Chromebook, we are, of course, going to play games online. Retrogames.cz. Crank up the volume. JS DOS and DOS box. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Oh, look at this! Literally the best possible Wolfenstein experience. Full screen, full speed. On my gaming computer. Laptop. Unfortunately, there's no access to the Google Play Store, so we can't play Minecraft. However, Doom on RetroGame.cz, not a problem. Oh yeah, that works great. That's an awesome Doom experience. All right, well, I tried to update it and uh, yeah, couldn't update your Chromebook. Please try again later. Hmm, that's not a good sign. Let's see what Diagnostic says about this ridiculous machine. Battery health 96%, that's good. Cycle count zero, I don't think that's correct. And our i7-6820HK. Half expected this screen to just say, why? All right, maybe a reboot will set this thing straight. Suppose we need to spam F11 again. Yep, there we go, boot menu. For Chrome OS, this takes an awful long time to boot up. All right, one reboot later. Let's see if our Linux environment can work. Checking the virtual machine. Nope, I think we're just not getting Linux on here. And it still does not want to update. Not a good sign. Yeah, we're definitely running into some issues here, but 
I don't know if I necessarily blame Thorium OS. I mean, we are running it on completely unreasonable hardware. All right, well, this might just be the most unreasonable operating system install that we've ever done on the channel, and I love it. What a ridiculous 13 pound dual booting Chromebook. Sure, it can't do that much, but it works. And I wanna install more ridiculous stuff on this thing. So if you have any ideas, like Haiku or React OS, let me know in the comments down below. We're gonna have some fun with this absolute behemoth. But that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more weird stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And I just wanna give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.